Thank you, and uh, thank you, Minister. And I, I believe that this bill places a priority on the establishment of the digital health records and access to health data care for treatment, and it will make things better for patients. And, you know, I suppose previous speakers, you know, we've spoke about patients, but healthcare is so important for patients. And to me, that's our priority. And any way that we can help, you know, whether it's through uh, information, record bills or whatever, I think it's important that we always put the patient first. And I know that that is a priority for, for the government. But I believe all patients will be having access to their digital health records. I think it's by 2030. I, I think that's, that's what is being said. Sometimes people are worried about collecting information, but it is important that PPSN and air codes, and that's a huge issue with that now, and health service providers, identifiers, are all linked to the patients. How many times, Minister, have hospitals contacted someone with the same name in the same house, but with vastly different ailments? How many times have I had people contact me that they've got their details wrong for the healthcare? So this would stop this, and I think that that's hugely important. It is a great addition recently for patients to have prescriptions emailed to chemists to be filled, enhancing information flows, and that's what we need. And I've seen a lot of people have said to me that they find that's very beneficial as well. So I believe that's a really a good move as well. But I have to ask about communication. Are we communicating what this means to patients and to healthcare providers? And I think that's so important because I do believe these are going to be big changes. I'm also concerned that we will need special staffing to implement this. Will we be training healthcare professionals in the areas of data science, data privacy, and of course law as well? That's, that's another thing. I must welcome the use of digital health records as it will improve the portability of the access of health information for care and treatment despite geographic locations. And so I know that is a very positive development for rural communities. And you know, Minister, as a rural min uh, minister yourself, and I'm a, a rural TD, you know, there has been challenges there, particularly when we speak about um, you no know, network coverage and all that. So that is important that that is right and up and running by, by 2030. And for people with disabilities, this system will support the provision of integrated care and continuity of care and enhance the quality and the experience of care for persons frequently engaging with health and social care in the acute community setting. HSC-led digital literacy initiatives will also ensure that patients with diverse needs are supported in the deployment and adoption of these records. And that is also, I believe, it, it's good to know and that is so important. But when I am here, Minister, I, I must call for increased communication on this bill to those it impacts, patients and healthcare providers, on what they have to do, on what costs are involved. And that was actually brought to my attention recently. You know, is this going to be, you know, a cost factor? What will happen or what, you know, what is covered under the medical card? Because medical card patients have contacted me, a lot of them have. Because, look, we need more communication, but there's a lot of talk about this and that's important. And there is also a lot of confusion out there, like, will it make it worse? Will it make it better? But I firmly believe that this is really, really, really a good initiative. And I think it's, it's important that the government continue on with this. But I also want to ask for an increase um, in the numbers of our pharmacists in the southeast, which are critical to support medical teams within our hospitals and the expanding of our, the rollout of the community pharmacists and the very significant industry, the sector in the region. And Minister, in the last few weeks, I've met with a lot of pharmacists around Carlo. And I suppose, again, um, while I know this is really good and we spoke about the, like at the moment, they've ex you have extended uh, medication, now minor, that would be minor medication, and I know that's, that's very good and it's very welcome. But I do believe pharmacists can do a lot more. And I think, Minister, with the rollout of uh, this bill and with, you know, working with the pharmacists, more communication and more information, I think this will be a really good initiative. But I will say, just going back to the pharmacist, Minister, I think it's important that you, you and yourself, and I know you will, and I know how committed you are, and Minister Donnelly, maybe, you know, talk to them. We're having the budget. I don't know what's happening with payments or whatever, and I know you will uh, support any health measures in the budget, and uh, that's so important. But I think it is important that all this is put together and work together. The other thing I will say about this is, if, if there is people that want to opt out of this particular, you know, if they don't want their medical information given, and there is certain people out there that under GDPR feel maybe, you know, they want, don't want to be given away their, their, their information, particularly medical. What is the clause there? Can that happen? And, you know, I suppose, but I believe, 
Look, if it's done and it's done by 2030 and we have good network coverage, we have good system up in place, good communication, information, Minister, I think this will be hugely important and I think this will really be a good change uh, to our health sector. Thank you.